Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a Homeworks haul. I have four candles from the new Homeworks website. Homeworks has a new website where they sell their candles. It is called homeworks.shop is the new website. If you don't already know, Homeworks candles by Harry Slacken were only available on QVC and also at Ulta.com and in select Ulta stores. They didn't have them in any Ulta stores in my area here in Kansas City, but they are in select states at certain Ulta stores. They sell them in the store, but they are online at Ulta.com. And then also um, there's a select few on Amazon. Um, Home Shopping Network used to carry a few, but they aren't carrying them anymore. It's just QVC, Ulta, and then um, just a few on Amazon. But now they just open their new website, like I said, homeworks.shop, and they do have Homeworks candles on there. They also have Scentworks body care products, not the Scentworks candles, just Homeworks candles and Scentworks body care. They may get Homework, uh, Scentworks candles later. I know Kohl's has both the Scentworks candles and body care, but the website only has the Scentworks body care and then the Homeworks candles. And then the candles you can get on the, the new homeworks.shop, you can get the candles two for $40 and you can mix and match. You can get like one candle. You don't have to get like pairs of two, the same one. You can get mix and match the candles, get one scent and then a different scent, um, two for 40. And then free shipping over $40 order. So if you get two for 40, you get free shipping for over $40. And then the Scentworks Body Care, you get buy two, get one free. And I think, let's see here, I'm looking on the website here. I'm trying to see, yeah, they are, the candles are $25 each. If you buy just one, it's $25 each, and then you gotta pay shipping. I'm not for sure what the shipping is. Um, and then, but, but like, if you pay two for four, uh, if you get two for 40, they end up being $20 each, and then you get free shipping. Let me click on here and see um, if it shows a shipping on just one. Like if you get one for $25, let me see here. Let me add it to my cart. I don't think I've checked this before. Uh, okay, I added one. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I can't figure out the shipping. For some reason, this want me to put all my information. I think I had to my credit card in to get the shipping and I'm not trying to do all that. But I think it's most likely between like five and seven. I think on QVC is usually $5.50, but then depending on if it's a bigger item, it would be $7.50, so it's probably between like $5 and $7 for shipping. But like I said, if you do two for $40 or $40 or more product, you get free shipping. So Homeworks was kind enough to gift me four free candles as being a moderator in the Homeworks Facebook group. I'm a moderator at the Facebook group along with Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom and Brett from Philly Candleman here on YouTube. We are moderators of the Facebook group and they were kind enough to send us, they gifted us four candles from the new website to preview for you and we do a video to show you how it was on ordering and let you know about the new website. And there's one new candle we'll be able to tell you about. And then there's other, the other candles on there are um, returning ones. Um, new ones, there's another new one this year that I have. And then the other two are ones that have been out previously. But uh, they gifted us four of them so we could talk about them and preview them, review them and all that good stuff for you. So um, the, all the scents on there, they don't have as much, the ones on QVC are different ones. QVC I think is in a different, um, I don't know if they have some kind of contract with them or something, but they get different candles than what they have on here. The ones they have on the homework shop, hopefully they will be getting more in the homework shop, but the ones they have right now, I will show you here. Okay, they have, Dutch apple pie, which is brand new. They have heirloom orchard, harvest leaves, spiced vanilla pumpkin, pumpkin woods, which is also new this year, but that was um, previously at, has said Ulta stores as well, but it's new this year. They have frozen balsam, winter fireside, spun vanilla sugar, oak and pomegranate, driftwood, magnolia blossom, tiara sunrise, rose petals, mandarin pink grapefruit, and pineapple colada. Those are the candles they have, so let's say one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So they only have fifteen cents right now on their on their for their candles. So hopefully they will be. I'm sure they will be getting more as time goes on. So I will show you the four that they gifted me to share with you all. 
So we have one big box here. They sent two different boxes, so I'm assuming two are in this box. And then I have another box over here. Same size. So I'll open up this box here first. Let's see how they are packaged in here. As you may not have known, QVC ships really well. I've never had any broken candles from QVC. Sometimes they have cardboard in there. Sometimes they have um, just paper and stuff in there. Um, and then Ulta, I have never ordered from Ulta, but many people have and they do not ship very well. Lots of people get candles from Ulta that are broken and not in good shape. So we'll see how they're packed in here. Okay, so on the top we have paper on the top. Take the paper out. And then they have two boxes in here, kind of loosely in here. I mean, they're, the, you know, the box is kind of, they can slide around in the box. There's two boxes in there, in the big box. But I think the paper kept them from kind of sliding around too much. But then I think they're packed pretty well, hopefully in this box from the sound of it. And this one just has homeworks on the little box here. So each candle will be in a separate little box. And let me see. Well, I'll just open them up as they are. I was gonna try to do certain ones in an order, but that's okay. It says on the outside what they are. They got them taped up pretty well. It smells really good. I can smell the candle I think I'm smelling through the box. Yes. So this is what it looks like inside the box. It's got the little cardboard. These work really well for like, they don't move around. When they have those cardboard in there like that, it keeps it really firm from moving around. And then it's just sitting in there. It's sitting inside the base of the other piece of cardboard in the box. And first up we have, this is one I've had before, but I love it and I've never, I've wanted to purchase it again, but I've never have. But it is amazing. It's one of my, it's probably in my top two favorite homeworks. It is Spun Vanilla Sugar. I love this one. It's so good. This is up there with this and Happy Birthday. I'm sorry, Birthday Cake. This and Birthday Cake are my two favorite homeworks. And this has just the spun vanilla sugar all the way around the label. The caramelized sugar, spun vanilla, spun sugar around there. It's got the plain homework slid on the top. With the homework's uh, Harry Slack and monogram. This one reads, spun sugar, whipped cream, sugared lemon, and vanilla. Mmm, it's so good. Let me take this, the little lid off and the little dust cover here. Yeah, it's so good. It's, you get the vanilla, and you get the whipped cream, you get a little lemon, but not a lot of lemon. Maybe just a hint of it, but and you get a little caramel. I didn't think so much there was caramel when I first smelled it, but then after I burned it, the last one I had, the caramel did come through a little bit, it's a little bit but it's still not a lot. It's not a big heavy caramel note at all, so don't let that scare you like it's not a caramel scent really at all. It just has a hint of like a caramelized sugar. Because like the sugar when it's spun and then it gets like a little caramelization going because kind of like you see on there It's that little you know, like the caramelization There it, it kind of makes like a caramel kind of a because of that spun sugar it caramelizes and it makes like a Kind of like a caramel note to it But it's not like a Not like your regular caramel. It's so good though. It's so good and it's so strong. I love it and I can't wait to try this again so happy to have that. So that's spun vanilla sugar, and then I'll open this other one here. And this is in the same box as the other one was. So we have same thing on the top of this one, packages the same way. And this one is Winter Fireside. And this one has been out, I think it was, I don't know if it came out exactly what year it came out. Was it, I think it was out last year and maybe it came out the first, was it out in 2017, the very first year 
or was it just, I don't remember. It was, I know it was last year, I think. And then I think it was in 2017, but I'm not positive. But this has the, all the wood around it, trees in the wood there, all the way around the label. And then it's got the same lid. And also these are all 18 ounces. Burn time is 30 to 55 hours. So winter fireside reads sultry incense, smoked firewood, rich clove buds, and mulled spices. I've never had this candle before, but I did have the little um, wax melt, little square wax melts they have. My friend Brian sent me that last year, I think, or was it two years ago? Uh, I did have that, and I did like the scent of that. It wasn't real strong in the wax melt though, but I wanted to get in the candle because I did really like the scent. Oh yes, it's so good. Let me take this off here. I was having a hard time finding that little flap to pull it out. Oh, it's so good. You definitely get that, that incense in the clove. Oh, it's so good. That woodsy, incensey clove, uh, clove, definitely the soldier incense, the smoked firewood. Yeah, it's not real smoky. It's not like, say, um, what is it from uh, Bath and Body Works, the uh, Fireside. That one's like way smoky. This one is not quite smoky like that is. It's more because those, uh, it's, it's like spicy. You get that smoked firewood, but it's not like overly smoky. And then you get that sultry incense. It is very sultry like. And then the mold spices, that's that spiciness and the clove in there. Oh, I love all that. All that clove and the sultry spices and the, or not sultry spices, well, sultry incense and then the mold spices mixing with that smoky firewood. It's really nice, really, really nice. So I can't wait to have that to burn for the winter. You could probably even do that in the fall a little bit if you wanted to. So now I will open the other box here. It's packed the same way with the paper on the top. And this had a little, oh yeah, this is a little free gift here. I'll do that at the end. And then the two boxes in the, here like that. I know uh, QVC, they ship theirs when you have like two candles. They ship theirs in like one, like one whole box, like two candles. It's just, instead of like two separate ones, it's one whole box about the size of this, but like just one box for two candles. But they, I guess they decided to put them in separate boxes but two together in one big box is how they do it through this website so let me open this one here so they take these up pretty well so same as the other ones got that on there and we have this sitting in there this is right here pumpkin woods like I said, this has been out this year. Um, previously at Ulta, it's still at Ulta stores and online at Ulta.com. But it is new this year. It's been out for like a month or so. I think they've had it out on the Ulta website. I love this label. I mean, look how beautiful that label is with the pumpkins there and then the trees, the forest with the, all the fall leaves. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look at it, so beautiful. That label is amazing. It's gonna look so pretty when it's lit up and it's glowing, the candle's glowing behind that picture. It's got the same lid. And let me take off this dust cover and stuff first before I read the notes and stuff here and smell it. So this one says, Pumpkin Woods reads, Pumpkin, Cedar Wood, Sprinkled Nutmeg and White Cinnamon. I don't know what white cinnamon is. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. What does that remind me of? You know what it kind of reminds me of? And I may be crazy because I don't think I've heard anybody mention this. It's not exactly like it, but it kind of reminds me of... It has similarities to Pumpkin Wreath from Yankee Candle. Kind of. N not exactly. And not a dupe at all. But it's got some similarities. 
kind of a little bit it might be that cedar wood in there because um pumpkin wreath has that cedar wood almost smells like kind of like um campster <laughs> campster hamster bedding you know like when you make in, in your hamster cage you have the bedding the um what is it called the cedar wood like little the um what's that called <laughs> The stuff you put in the cage, the cedar wood droppings, what is that called? That you put in the cage for the for your hamsters and stuff. That's kind of what pumpkin wreath smells like a little bit with that pumpkin. This has that a little bit, slightly. And I think it might be that cedar wood that makes it smell like that to me. Um, sprinkled nutmeg, yeah, you get pumpkin, you get a little nutmeg, but it's not a lot. It's not super spicy with nutmeg and then the white cinnamon. Like I said, I don't know exactly what white cinnamon is compared to regular cinnamon. But yeah, I get that nice pumpkin with like spices, a little spice. Not real heavy spice, but, and then that little bit of that, that, uh, what is that? The cedar wood. Yeah, I like that. It's definitely not like smoked pumpkin woods, which some people thought maybe it was because Everybody loves smoked pumpkin woods, myself included. It's not like that at all, really. But it is really nice. I like it. I have heard this is very light. I've heard lots of people say that it's been pretty light for them. So we'll see what happens with mine. But I'm I'm liking it. Yeah, it's nice. All right, and then the last one. Here, I'll open up. And this is the same. Packing here. In there like that. Oh, I got a mess here. Boxes everywhere. And this, of course, is the brand new Dutch apple pie. I've been super excited about this one. And look at the label. That picture is amazing with the Dutch apple pie with the lattice on it there in the front, and then apples all around. Look at all the apples. Look at all those chickens. All those apples. And then the beautiful picture of the pie, like I said. And it's got the same label, same or same lid as the other ones did. Let me take this off here real quick here and try not to smell it. <laughs> okay. I like to smell it for the first time without that stuff on there. So Dutch apple, bleh, Dutch apple pie reads red apple, cinnamon, clove, and pie crust. So pretty basic and simple to the point. Mmm, that is good. I like it. <sighs> Definitely you get the cinnamon, or the apple and the cinnamon. Cinnamon and apple. <sighs> yeah, and I get the clove. <sighs> I must get a little nutmeg too in there. It doesn't say nutmeg in the notes though. But is nutmeg in apple pie? Dutch apple pie. I think it is, but I get a little bit of the nutmeg in there with the clove, the cinnamon and apple. The big question is, do I get pie crust? I've seen a lot of people that have talked about this and done hauls on this so far that a lot of people have not got pie crust on cold sniff anyway. I want to say I do a little bit. A little bit. Not a big strong pie crust note. But I think I can kind of smell a little bit of it in there. I like it. I think it's really nice. I think I think I get a little bit, a tad bit of a pie crust note. I don't think it's completely like just apples and cinnamon. There's something more in there. I mean, yeah, I said nutmeg, but... God, I can't put my nose in this candle enough. I just wanna like stick the whole... I wanna, I'm trying to smell the... Mm, get, I'm just trying to see if I can get that pie crust. Because I'm trying so hard, it's definitely not like a super strong pie crust note because I'm trying, trying really hard to see if I can get it. But... I think I could get a little bit of it. So I'm thinking maybe, fingers crossed, when I burn it, maybe I'll get a little more of a pie crust note 
and it won't be just like apple cinnamon, you know, spice and stuff. It'll be a little more, have that little bit of a warm pie crust note. Uh, maybe. <sighs> yeah. I like it. I think it's good. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm probably going to light this up right after this video and start brewing it and see what happens. So here's my free gift that I got that was wrapped up in this little uh, bubble wrap here. You get a free gift with any, I think it's with any purchase, I believe you get a free gift. So I got a free Scentworks little body mist. It's a little, like a little travel size one. It's uh, how many ounces? Three ounces. And this is in the scent My Love. I'll show you up close up here. My love, and it's got like um, floral uh, floral print around it. And this reads, let me see if I can read this really dark here. Fall in love with a romantic blend of dark velvet rose, night blooming jasmine, black currant, and soft suede. It says are all over body mist will add an instant burst of fragrance and freshness. This is floral and sensual is what it says. So let me open it up and uh, spray here. Oh God, I took the whole thing off. Is it wrapped here? Okay, so they have plastic wrapped around the top here and it's really tight. I mean, I had to dig the scissors into there to get that out. I thought Bath and Body Works hand soaps when you get them in the mail were hard to get off. Oh, that one was really wrapped on there tight. So, let me take it off, okay. Let me spray here. Okay, that's not bad. It's nice, it's very, uh, it's pretty, it's like a pretty scent. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, it's not really something I definitely would wear it. It's definitely too feminine for me. It's not something I would wear, but I might like spray it in the house or something maybe. Either that or I could give it to my mom. My mom would probably like this. I could either gift it to them or I might just keep to spray it around. Yeah, it's a nice pretty scent. So that was my free gift with for uh, you get it whenever you do a purchase. You get a little free gift. Even though I didn't purchase it, they gifted it to me, but whenever you I did do the purchase online, they just gave me a code to type in that gave me, basically got the items for free for the code that I was gifted to from Homeworks, but when you ever, but because of that, other purchases, even though they were free, I also got the uh, extra little item here, as well as um, with my candles. So yes, that's my haul. Thank you, Homeworks, for sending me these four candles to share with you and re review with you and talk to you about. and share the information on the new website and everything. So like I said, check out homeworks.shop online. I'll put a link below to the website and then you can get your candles, two for 40, free shipping over 40. And like I said, hopefully in um, the months to come, they will have more selections on the website. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.